this tutorial I'm just going to show you how to pitch up or down a sample of a clip um, so here I've just gone into samples searched and got a little techno loop yeah. little techno loop now to pitch this up or down um, which is what everyone wants to know when they record the vocals in so that can make them sound like the, the Hollywood blockbuster voiceover guy um, we come we have to double click on the clip so we get its waveform displayed come down and we can adjust this transpose knob and what that'll do is it'll either pitch up or down the sample so if I play, as I pitch it up you should be able to hear that changing or pitch it down and that's that's how we do it that's how you pitch up or down now below the transpose button we have detune and that's basically like a fine control of the transpose so we it'll basically transpose it ever so slightly um, and you have to get up to 50 before it actually increases by one so that's how we pitch up or down a sample um, over here we have the gain so to turn up or down the volume of the sample use this quite carefully because it's it's easy to kind of start distorting the sample um, obviously we do have the volume control there but sometimes we'll record a sample and it's just too quiet so to make it louder we use the gain control here as a rule of thumb try to make sure that the peaks so these bits here the peaks um, of the waveform don't go over the line so we don't want to have everything like that but just try to make sure that just the peaks are around at the top and that'll make sure that everything's just nice and clear and loud but not distorting some of the other controls we have here is the HQ which is a high quality mode um, it's more system intensive but obviously if you're working on productions you know you want to have the best audio quality you can so just click that on um, if you're DJing or something it's not so not so important so it's up to you to decide that and um, we have the fades which will put a small fade on the start and end points um, the RAM basically if you have a lot of samples going um, it can be quite intensive on the system on your resources on your CPU and things so it's sometimes quicker just to load the samples into the RAM and we do that just by clicking that button on and off if we want to reverse the sample we just click the reverse and that'll flip the track round reverse there we go 